Hey, what's going on? It's Hal Wilkerson with Hawaii Property Advisors, and today we are doing a property drive through of Hawaii Loa Ridge. And um, just finished an open house, and I figured while I'm up here, I would do a uh, kind of a property drive through so you could see this neighborhood, see what it feels like on the streets get a sense of the curb appeal of this neighborhood, see some of the views. Unfortunately, it's not the best day because the, the clouds are out, it's a little bit of a haze, but um, I'm just gonna drive around through the, uh, through the community so you can kind of get a sense of what it feels like here. So Pu'ukena is the main street that drives up to Hawaii Loa, and a little bit about Hawaii Loa. Hawaii Loa is actually the name of the original king that came to the islands from Polynesia. And his brother ended up in the Marquesas and he ended up here in Hawaii. And um, Hawaii Loa is, was his name and that's actually how the Hawaiian Islands got their name. A lot of people don't know that. But this community, Hawaii Loa Ridge, is named after him. And it's actually the only place that I know of, aside from the state, obviously, that actually uses Hawaii Loa all in the same place name. We're up on a ridge here about between 800 and 1,200 feet up above the Kalaniani Highway which is sort of the main highway that drives through East Oahu from the east side of Honolulu. It is a gated community, 24 hour guards manning the gate. And uh, there is actually a ridge, there's a ridge line trail up at the top that you can drive up to. Pretty, pretty much anyone uh, can, can come to the gate, just tell them you wanna go to the hike and you can go up to the hike. Now there you can see Diamond Head in the distance. That's Kahala over there just behind those houses. Get some beautiful sunsets up here. This neighborhood is far and away my most favored neighborhood in all of Hawaii. And it's also really the, uh, I would say it's probably the most exclusive neighborhood in uh, on Oahu and probably in the state. It's about uh, 1,200 homes. They started building and developing in the late 70s, early 80s. It took them a little bit of time, but uh, right over there, and actually, I will, while we're here, we're about to cross Pu'uakana. I want to just show you, this is inside of Hawaii Loa, there's another gated community called The Point at Hawaii Loa Ridge. We're not going to go in there because I don't have access today, but this is the exclusive of the exclusive The Point at Hawaii Loa Ridge. And excuse the uh, painting in the background. My doggo is uh, with us today, and he's just excited. He's excited about everything. That's Gordon the Golden, of course. I've told you guys about Gordon the Golden. But let's keep going. We'll uh, continue our way up to the top here. And I'll actually go take you all the way up to the top and uh, maybe we'll let Gordon run, away, run around in the, in the grass when we get up to the top here. Some beautiful homes, all custom. 100% custom design home. There's no single home that is identical. Pretty much because of that, every home is built to have some sort of a view. Now, some views are better than others, but you can pretty much guarantee if you're going to be buying a home up here in Hawaii Loa that you're going to get a beautiful view. So this is Pu'uakena, it comes all the way up to the top here, and at the top you'll see there's an entranceway 
into a state park area, actually. It's not really evident if you don't know what you're looking for, but right here at the top of the main road, which you have to go through the guard shack to get to, come right here, and it just comes right up this. Now, I love the entrance to this hike area. Wait until you see this. It's just amazing, watch this. So you got this little gate area, and then look at this drive, isn't it beautiful? It's almost like you're going into an enchanted forest. And this is open to the public. Anyone can, anyone can come up here. You just have to uh, give them your driver's license, or they'll they'll record your driver's license. They don't actually keep it, but you give your driver's license down at the entryway and to the front gate, and then you can just drive right on up here. And uh, it's a it's a nice little spot here. We'll see. There's some some views up here as well. Also, you've got the water tank, which is going to serve the community. Board of Water Supply. It's a big the Hawaii Loa Reservoir. That's what it's called. But um, I'm actually off to the left here. You can we'll get out and take a look at it. You can see the uh, you can see there's a big beautiful overlook of the backside of Diamond Head. Okay, back in a moment. Cordy! Cordy, hey, Cordy, what you doing? Cordy, hey, what you doing? What you got? What you got? What you got? Where we at, huh? Where we at, huh? Where we at, huh? Okay, let's finish up here. Unfortunately, we got a little bit of a, a Malka shower, but we're not gonna let that stop us. So, we just had a little walk with Gordon. He enjoyed it, and again, this little hilltop recreation area, especially that one over there, is just really, really nice. It's got a lot of little, if you're an owner up here, it's got, it's got the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The barbecue grills, they're all gas grills. It's got nice little grassy walk areas. It's got facilities. Um, I think one of them even has a sink with water. Just, just a great little touch to the neighborhood. So, anyway, all right, that's the uh, the park up at the top. Yeah, it's such a bummer. We got a little bit of rain today, but that's okay. It'll pass soon enough. And again, this is a very kind of a nondescript entrance up here. So if you don't know what you're looking for. You're, uh, it's not going to be easy to find it. Gordon, would you mind not breathing so heavily in my ear, sir? That's okay. My apologies to the viewers out there. 65 pound golden retriever living his best life. All right, so this view is just absolutely magnificent. So that's Port Lock in the distance there. And, um, Off to the left, over there, is the Cocoa Head Crater, which is a site of a famous hike. It's about 1,200 stairs that goes straight up to that, uh, to that mountain, so it's beautiful. Uh, you can maybe get a little better view of it. Maybe, maybe not. It's behind those. Yeah, you can just get a glimpse of it there, but just Google it. It's amazing. All right, Gordon, not, you're not gonna get to come with us on any future uh, neighborhood drives, buddy, I'm sorry. I know you did enjoy that, I'm sure. All right, so we'll just keep cruising down here. Over, overhead of where we're at here on the uh, neighborhood. Oh, there we go, a nice little view of the backside of Diamond Head. Although this was actually would be much better done in the early in the early morning hours, probably like 8 a.m., 9 a.m., because of the light would be pretty good. So what else can I tell you about Hawaii Loa Ridge? Mm. Well, it's, uh, I think we've covered the high points already. Oh, I actually learned something kind of interesting. The creator of Baywatch happens to have a home for sale up here at the moment. It's a, uh, 
I think it's 10 or 11 bedroom and uh, tile roof, Spanish tile roof, asking 11 million for it, actually. But now we'll do the uh, do the cruise down uh, to Okana. So you can kind of see what the uh, the exit to the neighborhood looks like. And that is one of the drawbacks to living up here is that it's a beautiful view. You've got, like I said, anywhere from 800 to 1200 feet in elevation, but you do have to uh, drive the up and down on a daily basis as you go up there. Oh yeah, let's go show you the tennis courts real quick. There's a little rec center, a little small playground, some tennis courts. We'll, uh, we'll do a quick drive through of that little spot here. Also another nice overview for that matter. So this is the playground on the left, and then you've got the tennis courts over there. Security always keeps a nice presence in these parts as well. And this green area is just beautiful right there. You can just see right down the hillside there. There's the rec center. That's a tennis area. I think there's two tennis courts. A little different than Wailaiiki, which is uh, two ridges over. Wailaiiki has uh, four tennis courts and a little bit more established sort of it's almost like a tennis club over there but this is the drive going down the hill at Hawaii Loa. Some of the uh, important details as far as shopping and grocery and those types of things. So when you get to the bottom of the hill, if you turn left, you can head into Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii Kai, excuse me. And there you'll have a Costco, you'll have a food land. I think there's a Safeway over there and um, all those types of particulars. And then if you head right, you'll go to the uh, Kahala area and also to town as well and over there you'll get um, uh, you've got a Whole Foods you've got uh, the mall that's got a, like a Macy's at the Kahala mall you've got uh, a Ross all your standard retail type places over there so Lots of options for shopping, especially the side of the side of the island. And then if you go a little bit farther down to the west, of course you've got Waikiki, but beyond Waikiki is the one and only Ala Moana shopping center, the center of the Pacific, world famous, literally internationally known. You get folks from Asia coming here to. Uh, are taking a beautiful outdoor shopping experience. It is out in Hawaii. But at any rate, this is the, uh, I think this is the last little turn before we, before we exit. Look at this place over here. That's a nice one. Stoke on. And I think there's one more, one more curve, and then we're on our way out to the community here. See the 
guard shack. So man, 24 hours a day. So for the discerning buyer, want to have security, you've got a really good security here in Hawaii Loa Ridge. But that wraps up the Hawaii Loa Ridge driving tour. I hope you enjoyed that. I think I'll do another one another time when it's a little nicer day, but this will uh, this will work for now for those of you that are searching for it. And then it drops us right out here on Kalani on the only highway. So this is again Hal Wilkerson with Hawaii Property Advisors. Hope you've enjoyed this tour and we'll see you next time.